Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here. I am a women's health and nutrition expert and I do these videos just to educate women on their hormones, on their bodies so that they can function better and feel better and get the results that you want that you've been struggling for. Now, in this video, I'm gonna talk about for your phone, your screen, um, the screens that you're on, the computer screens, that type of a thing, and how that's affecting your hormones. For a lot of women, they don't realize that, oh my gosh, what I'm doing day to day, my phone that everybody has attached to their hand, right? I do the same thing. I work from my phone. I record videos from my phone, literally use it all day long, talk to people from all over the world on my phone, answer emails, um, Facebook, Instagram, all of it, right? All done from your phone. But if you're not careful about the exposure that you're getting, to your phone and the light that it emits or to your computer screen, then you're really putting yourself at risk and sort of working against yourself in terms of what your hormones are doing and how they're reacting to that type of light. Um, so I specialize in getting your nutrients matched to your female hormone cycle, right? So my book, The Female Fat Solution is on Amazon. Um, you can get it there. My podcast, The Female Health Solution is on um, everywhere podcasts, you know, every place that you can listen to podcasts. Um, and then I do have a YouTube channel, Dr. Beth Westy. So subscribe to that to stay up to date on the latest information that I release regarding women's hormones and your health. Now, I cover a lot of topics, but this one recently kind of hit home for me. And it's because I have been really cranking away at my next book, <laughs> which is coming. I swear my next book is coming out. But the one thing when I am scheduling certain time a day, like this is extra time I'm spending at the computer, extra time I'm spending typing, researching, making sure that I'm gathering enough info and getting it displayed in a way that everybody can understand because sometimes I get really nerdy on stuff. So I'm trying to communicate in a way that sort of makes sense to everybody, right? So I'm spending this extra time at the computer and I've been doing this for a few weeks now. And what I realized is that I started getting headaches and I was like, oh, this is not good. This is, this is a problem, right? And I'm feeling extra tired. Like my eyes are feeling tired and I wasn't, I hadn't had that before. And I was like, I know it's because of the extra screen time. Now I know I take breaks. I walk around, right? I do things during the day. I don't just sit there and stare at the screen all day long for hours nonstop. So I do all the regular healthy break things, right? For your eyes. But I wasn't really getting a break from the amount of screen time that I had throughout the day. That was actually increased. That's a problem, especially when you're looking at how it relates to your hormones and your cycle. I'll get into this in a minute, but before I do, I want to let you know that I actually have a really exciting gift for you if you're watching this. I'm going to put a link below this video where you can order a pair of these glasses that block blue light from affecting your eyes. They're uh, called Classy Network. Aren't they cute? They're so cute. Look at them. And they're super comfortable, right? But they just block blue light. And this is going to be, I'll put a link below where you can order these. So if you do not have a pair of these, you need one. You, you just, you need one. Everybody's on their phone, right? If you're, you know, five minutes here and there, fine. But if you're, you know, looking at Instagram, if you're scrolling for more than five minutes, get yourself a pair of glasses to wear to help your eyeballs. Because for me having headaches for the extra screen time that I'm, that I'm doing, like there's no way around that. I have to have that screen time. I'm finishing my book. <laughs> I'm trying to work on my book. So what's my answer? Oh, blue light glasses that are blocking that light. Now I say blue light, right? It's, it's the light that emits, it's lower frequency, all that stuff. And I'm sure some of you have seen how it, um, or heard about how it affects your sleep. Like you're not supposed to look at screens 30 minutes before you go to bed because it um, reacts negatively with your melatonin, right? that affects your sleep pattern. So you're not gonna get into it. You can have a harder time getting to sleep. You're not gonna get into it as deep of a sleep, all of those things. Now wearing these glasses, you know, of course, still don't look at screens before you go to bed, right? That's, that's the stimulation of your brain too. It's just the activity. Um, but it does help block the effect of the light on the melatonin. Now, now melatonin is a hormone, right? So with that, I started researching and I was like, so why am I having these headaches or what else is going on in my body? How does this affect women's health, right? I'm such a nerd about this. So here we go. When we look at the hormone cycle here, we're looking at, oh, I should have wrote this, written this down. Sorry. This is the estrogen, right? Estrogen here, estrogen phase is the beginning part of it. That's, you know, what I call it because nobody, follicular, luteal, blah, 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 whatever. No one remembers those. Um, progesterone phase here, progesterone's higher here. But one of the things, and this was, there was actually a study that I found, and this is fascinating. There was a study that I found that affects your FSH levels 
and the light that you're exposing yourself to. So if you have been working on balancing your hormones, if your hormones are off, if you notice, oh my God, my, my cycle's all over the place, or I'm not ovulating, or I can't track this, right? You're working on fertility, all these other things, and you're on a screen and you're on a phone during the day, you need a pair of these glasses because exposure to that light actually diminishes the effect of the FSH. FSH is called follicle, follicular stimulating hormone. Follicle stimulating hormone. That means it stimulates your body to actually release the egg and ovulate. That's really, really important, <laughs> especially if you are trying to get pregnant, if you are trying to work on your fertility and you are not protecting your eyeballs, right? The effect that the light and everything has on our systems and the female body is so complex, so dynamic. It really, really is that it, it takes these things, right? It's not just, oh, I'm eating healthy. I'm working out. Great. I'm taking my supplements super duper. But if you're on your phone or a computer for hours a day and you're not protecting your eyeballs, I say eyeballs, right? It's the effect of the eye and what it does to your brain and how it affects the release of the hormones, blah, blah, blah. We don't need to get into that, right? Just think of it as this. You need to protect your eyeballs because of the chain reaction that it has with your hormones and specifically you ovulating, it will, it'll mess up your ovulation, which is messing up your hormones, right? I mean, it messes up all of these, right? But just, you know, breaking it down into a simple, simple thing, this hormone is in charge of releasing that egg. This is also important for men. Now, I focus on women's health, but in terms of fertility, right, if you as a couple say you're listening to this, and if you are listening to this and you know somebody who's working on fertility, right, Send this to them um, because this is applicable for both men and women. Follicular stimulating hormones also present in the male body and is important for sperm health and everything. So if men are on screens or phone all day long, it can affect that as well. Glasses, glasses, people. Yes, simple, easy thing, right? It's right. They're pretty inexpensive. They they work really well. They're really very comfortable. And, and, they're, and they're cute, <laughs> and they're very cute, right? But they do the job of blocking that light. So you're not getting it exposed to your eyeballs, which is then that chain reaction of what happens in your brain and the chemicals and everything and the hormone effect that it has throughout your body. That's the biggest thing. So for men and women, right? Women need this and men should, if you're working on fertility you're, and your guy's on the phone all the time, get him some of these too, because it's gonna make a difference. Big time. Um, Sue is saying, even though you've already passed menopause, I included blue blocking my last order of glasses. Yes, Sue. That's amazing. Okay, so this is a really good point, Sue. Yes. So I wanted to talk about this for gals, um, you know, that are, you know, especially with the FSH, because there was a study that came out about that. I, it's a big deal for somebody to conduct a study regarding women's hormones. That doesn't happen very often and the effect of something on women's hormones. Uh, but even if you are in menopause or you don't have a cycle or something, you're like, oh, I'm on birth control, I don't care. No, it really does. It affects so many hormones in your body, your entire endocrine system, your entire endocrine system. So I can talk about all the other <laughs> issues, right? We can talk about melatonin. We can talk about estrogen and progesterone more. We can talk about thyroid and the negative effect of all of those. If you are just, it's so simple. It's so simple. It's like if you brush your teeth every day to protect your teeth and prevent cavities, why would you not wear these if you're going to be on a screen, your phone or computer or something like that? Such a big deal. So, so, so important that you include this in. So that's my introduction for you guys to this. So really, if you have noticed, oh my gosh, I'm, you know, yeah, headaches are a really common thing. That's what I was getting that kind of triggered it for me that, holy crap, I need, I need these. I need these. I should be wearing them. I'm not. Um, but headaches. You know, any other, you like your eyes get tired, that graininess, that grittiness that you might feel, the grainy and the gritty, right? Um, and it can just affect your energy throughout the day, your sleep, everything. So if you're spending a lot of time on, your, on a screen, phone, computer, whatever, I don't care, get a pair of these. So I will put a link below this video so you guys can get um, connected with these amazing glasses. I'll put a link below, Classy Network. I'll put a link below, click the link, order glasses right? You're going to have a, such a difference with this. You will notice a shift and change right away. I did. The, like the first day I started wearing them, I was like, yep, this is better. Yep. My eyes just feel lighter and freer. So I'll put that link below so you guys can, um, can get these ordered right away. <laughs> they get delivered right to your door, which is fantastic. Um, yes. And then the other thing that I wanted to mention too, of course, is that I do have my 12 week 
challenge um, that I work with women on things like this. So sometimes it is mentioning something like this to women. Sometimes, you know, we're working so hard in all these other areas that we're missing these little things that actually make a really big difference overall. So if you've got questions on that, I'll put a link below. You can schedule a call with me and we can chat about any questions that you have regarding your hormone health, you know, and, and getting your body to ovulate at the right time. And if it's ovulating or not, that type of a thing, because it can be really confusing, right? But these little things make a big difference overall. So that's what I got for you guys on this Saturday morning. Um, let me know your questions. Schedule a call if you would like. And then order a pair of these because they're incredible. So look for that link below. All right. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later.